Hello everyone, let me tell you a little story about a game called Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. I mean, up to this point, there are certain games that I was able to go to the store and get uh, on the first day, but other games like Blaster Master, Zelda 2, Mario 2, they were absolutely inaccessible in my area because these stores sold Sega Master Systems and Nintendo had this rule that if you sold stuff from other companies such as Atari or Sega, they would uh, pretty much limit the quantities of games and hardware that they would ship to the stores and this really screwed people over for Christmas. I mean, I was able to get Sega Master System stuff, but not my Mario 2, Zelda 2, etc. Or even Blaster Master. I mean, I literally traded my entire collection at the time to a friend so I can get Blaster Master. But anyway, we're going to be loading Castlevania 3 right now and it's going to be pretty much, uh, the way it was when you played it, I mean, you did not even realize there was actually an additional sound chip. I mean, you had multi-layer sound for quite a few games, especially the Japan version uh, of Akuma Du Densetsu. Let's check this out right now and start the game for nowhere. Listen to the music. Okay. Sounds cool and everything, but uh, you can actually have a sound way, way better than this. I mean, I'm going to let you hear this for a moment here. Check it out. Okay. Sounds awesome, but I know, I mean, from personal experience, that it can sound infinitely better than this. It's like going from uh, chip tune music all the way up to orchestral arrangements. I always love when you like have bands, uh, like even the composer for Turrican on Amiga, etc. He later on did an entire orchestra city where he played with an orchestra, and it sounds pretty badass. Okay, uh, we're gonna do something very, very cool right now. We're actually gonna play this with better sound and also better graphics because uh, we can do like sprite replacements with Messin, but unfortunately we cannot run it on a mini classics ball whatsoever. But we're gonna do a Kumichu Densetsu, which is the Japan version of Castlevania 3, and we're gonna run this with boosted supercharged sound mode activate, and we're also gonna do better visuals. You'll see in a moment here. Let's check it out. We're gonna start the game here and just hear this amazing music. And her name. I know, I think you can do like, help me, and you get like 10 lives. I remember that being the code. I'm not too concerned with that right now. It's like, help me. Listen to this beautiful music. I'm ready. Oh, that sounds so much better on my sound system. Way, way better. You know what's only going to make this better? How about we do better boosted visuals as well? I mean, look at this pixelization. We're in a 20. First century, are we? Or is it the 20th century? I'm pretty sure we're in the 21st century. We're gonna do uh, the shaders. Now we're in the low game here. Uh, shaders. Uh, low shader preset. Buck Rogers in the 21st century, right? Uh, too soon. Uh, let's set this out. And uh, you might not realize this, but that actually was a theatrical movie before it became a TV series. And it actually is a pretty damn good movie for what it is. But we're gonna go to the high quality shader here. In fact, then I used to watch shows like. Uh, Voyagers as well, and that was a fun, fun time travel show. We're gonna go to HQ2X right now, and look how much better visuals are gonna look. Right now, ready, set, go! Okay. And OK Go is a fun band too. Have you ever seen their musical videos? Uh, they're all really, really well done. But the visuals are great, the music's great, and uh, as far as like uh, stuff, I talked about the other day getting Brit Box and watching some uh, episodes of the amazing show Inside Number 9. If you're into stuff like Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, and uh, stuff like Black Mirror, Inside Number 9 is a must-watch show. And uh, it had a BAFTA award for Best Show last year, and I watched a few episodes from uh, Season 5, and uh, there's one of, uh, called uh, Misdirection about a magician who pretty much wants a magic trick and uh it literally is so cool because it reminds me of like watching something like christopher nolan movie uh prestige or the you know movies like that and just think of these writers taking a two-hour movie and concising it down to literally like a half-hour episode it is a genius and very twisty and pretty damn awesome it's like m night Shyamalan crossed over with uh, christopher nolan in a TV series like Twilight Zone or Black Bear. I'd love to see these guys do like a theatrical movie. And then the other one was like a ghost story. I mean, I'm gonna go over more of these episodes. I don't wanna really spoil them or anything, but uh, Love Inside number nine, six seasons in a movie. I'm waiting for a movie to come out for that, but they didn't have a Halloween special. But uh, both of them guys are great. They did uh, League of Gentlemen as well as Psycho Bill. And I'm gonna go back to both of those shows as well. I mean, they did a tremendous job on all the things that they've done. I'm just waiting for them to do like some theatrical movie in the near future. 
And of course, I need to watch a few other videos, catch up on some other stuff. What are you watching on like Amazon Prime, Hulu, all that fun stuff? I think I got like one or two episodes of the boys on Amazon Prime left to finish. I did finish Invincible. And I don't really do musicals, but I might actually give it a heist a chance because I watched The Greatest Showman with Hugh Jackman, and yes, he's the Wolverine, but he can also sing. He actually is a pretty good singer, too. I mean, are they ever gonna do like an X-Men or a Wolverine musical where like he sings? Oh, jeez. I could have used Rewind, Medusa has here. <laughs> These are the black sheep, uh, the, uh, <laughs> The, the thing in the series that you can remove, I mean, if there's anything you can take out of Castle Ring, remove these Medusa heads! They screw you every time! Watch! I'm gonna get screwed again! Whoa! Okay, now that time. I need a turkey or a meat stick or something here to give me some energy before I take on the boss! We need to at least take on the first boss here. There's gonna be uh, one other cool thing you can play with the update as well. I'm gonna show you here. There's one game that people have asked about that is not run for a while, but now it's gonna be running with the update! It's a great, great uh, homebrew game called Halloween 86. Not with Michael Myers, mind you, but cool nonetheless. Yes, I guess I'll go for the X. Uh, I need my meat stick here. We're already a meat stick. Castlevania 3 is definitely one of my favorite Castlevania games in the series. Along with Symphony of Night, Castlevania 4, and Rondo of Blood. Them would have to be my favorites of all of these series. Whoa! Damn it, Gors. <laughs> they don't call me Gors in this, they call them fleas in this game. There's uh, my meat stick here. And I'm a big, big fan of, like, uh, Slim Jims and Jack Lee and all that. I mean, they're my favorite snacks. So, oh, like, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, and, of course, stuff like, uh, uh, should we say, Three Musketeers, Hershey, and all that fun stuff. Let's take this boss out here. Not this guy. That's not the boss. Jeez. Okay. And why was Grant from this game not in the Castlevania series for Netflix? I really, really thoroughly wish he would have been in the series. But beautiful, beautiful HD visuals. I mean, you can make Silver Surfer sound better and look better. Even though it's a tough game, it actually is a very, very fun game, despite its astronomical challenge. Okay. Oh, come on. We should be able to take out the boss with only like five slivers of health there. Oh, okay, should be close to it. And I love the fact that, I mean, spoiler alert, that if you beat a boss, you can actually get playable characters. No! That was like Haunted Castle. I'm gonna screw myself here. Two hits and I'm done. And here comes the boss. Oh! Oh, I screwed myself. One more. Oh, I'm done. I didn't even make it past the boss. <laughs> but we're gonna be on the boss here. I mean, it's not taking me back too far. But I'm gonna have a, a shorter range weapon here. It's okay, folks. No harm, no foul. <laughs> okay. I don't really cheat or use rewinder codes, I just play the games as, as you will here. Okay, I got a bigger website, I should be able to take this out now. Love these uh, visuals, I'm gonna say their uh, brain, they're just perplexed me here. Okay, I think we can take the boss out now. Let's try doing a little jump here. <laughs> okay. No, you're not supposed to follow me, dude! <laughs> We're gonna do the ninja game trick where we just. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, ninja game trick! Just keep hitting the button, don't even try to dodge him. Like Ninja Gaiden, right? We're gonna win! Yeah! Games like Ninja Gaiden, you just go up, or Batman, you just go up and whack, 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 as long as you have enough energy. Or even like Mega Man series, unless you have to fight like multiple bosses in a row. But, uh, Q tip, just use Metal Man against Metal Man. <laughs> That's a one hit kill. But, uh, we're gonna do this other game right now, and I'm gonna show you something else. Uh, these mini classics, many, many years ago, I mean, you might have gone to, like, a shopping mall or a home shopping uh, network and seen, like, these knockoff mini classic type things before the mini classics actually came out. But what you might have realized is that a lot of these games were actually consisted of Nintendo ROMs. And I'm going to show you an example of this right now. I think this is cool as hell. This is also going to be in the very next update for F, C, E, U, M, M, as well as Extreme. Uh, we're going to go to the city S maps. These are all games that did not previously work. And there's actually this collection here from Intellivision, uh, we're gonna do it right now, uh, literally, this is a made-for-TV thing, right here, Intellivision TV 25 and 1, it is literally on the real hardware, a real mini thing that you buy, it was actually just an NES ROM, and it just, uh, it was dumped from the hardware and made to work mapper-wise on FCMM, and it's very, very cool for those of you who are, uh, nostalgic fans of Atari and television and all that fun stuff. 
And uh, we can do this in HD if you want to as well. I mean, but we already have the high quality sound. Astro Smash is actually a cool game. Love this game. Fun, fun game to do high school design. I don't even know if I should bother doing HD visuals, but uh, there were actually two great Dungeons and Dragons games as well. Uh, you can do a teleport move here too. Look at this. Teleport. Just keep pushing teleport and see how long you can survive. But let's see what uh, HD visuals look like here for the hell of it. We're going to go to uh, low shader preset HQ. I love playing with these shaders here. I mean, there's so many fun ones to play with. Uh, we're going to do HD. <laughs> I don't know how much better it's going to make Atari games look. Uh, but there's like Gamma Radiation. No, actually like a Gamma Radiant. It actually gives you a more pristine look. Because if you play like the mini Atari game uh, thing, if you play a game like Yards Revenge, you can't even see the enemy fire because of the way the Gamma is. This actually looks pretty damn cool in HD right now. Let's try to give it more of a psychedelic look. But yes, it actually makes it look pretty damn cool with the HQ visuals. I almost want to play the Halloween in uh, the, <laughs> the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game in HD now. But let's try to give it a more psychedelic look as one of the other shaders there. You go to Load Shader and you go to Blinky. Blinky should look pretty badass there. Almost in any game, it should give it like a psychedelic look. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that's cool as hell. Oh, yeah. Love the psychedelic look there. Uh, now we're going to go to another game here. We're going to run this in HD as well. Uh, this will probably be the last game for this video. This is Halloween 86. This is a beautiful, beautiful game. They did not really want uh, run well on the minis for the longest time here. I need to go to NES Maps again. Uh, we're going to go right down to Halloween 86. We're going to run it with the updated uh, mapper here. And uh, check it out for yourself here. We're going to do uh, the game part normal here. And just one of the best homebrew games I've ever played. I mean, you can play Halloween in 1985, which they released for free to the public at some point, I believe. But this game right here is a purchasable game. But great, great music, great gameplay. And we're going to HD the visuals right now. And why does this guy remind me of, like, AVGN in the game? I mean, it really does feel like him. Shaders, low shader preset, and HQ mode activate. Okay, check it out. It's going to be great music and visuals. Awesome, awesome stuff. Oh, that is so cool. Of course, you can use your X and Y. Then Turbo Fire Mode Activate. And this is a pretty, pretty tough game like uh, Battle Kid and Battle Kid 2. I mean, when you die, it tells you how many times you died. But love this music. I mean, this is the way that Nightmare on the Street uh, should have been done for the uh, NES. I mean, this is an interesting four-player mode Activate game. But uh, this is probably better as far as like the control scheme and all that. Oh, I want to get to the, I want, you can do like fast forward mode activate, or you can listen to the dialogue, check the dialogue out here. Oh yeah. And uh, as far as licensed games, I kind of wonder, I'm just randomly thinking of like other horror based things. Did they ever make like a Teen Wolf game? I mean, ever. I mean, that would have been an interesting game. I mean, they could have made like a silly basketball game like uh, Harlem Globetrotters, but with Teen Wolf Michael J. Fox. Hey LP, what's up? Let's get to some action here. <laughs> okay, kind of like doing a dialogue in like River City Ranch and then you get to the real nitty gritty of the real gameplay. This is going to be the final demonstration of this particular video. Okay, I'm ready for the action now. It is a pretty, pretty tough game like I said. I mean, the idea is to see how many lives you can uh, pretty much conserve throughout the course of the game here. Okay, I gotta fast forward through all this stuff. Not quite like Okami where it takes 20 minutes to get through it. Oh, it fell into the picture. Oh, this music is badass. Oh, yeah. Chapter 1 Dungeon. AVGN, you need to do this game in a video. How do I get out of here? It's like playing... Oh, I did a flip kick. That's cool. It's like Beyond Shadowgate for the Turbo Graphics CD. Wow. Oh, jeez. He died pretty quick in this game. I mean, this much reference would actually do die. Oh, there's like a chest up there. Can I get that chest? Can I get the chest? I'm not sure if I can get it. Let's see. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. And uh, Black Sunshine is telling me he's been trying to beat this game and it's pretty damn fun. Like I said, you, you literally will get your ass kicked really, really quick here. Very, very cool stuff though. I mean, they did a tremendous job on this. Has like combinations of like Battle Kit, a little bit of Splatterhouse, and even like the super deformed games like SD Splatterhouse. And uh, look at that, I lost the lights there. Kill count 5, Serum Soda 4, time 225 there. Okay. <laughs> that punch noise, that sounds like something I've heard from another game. Like River City Ransom, Double Dragon. <laughs> Love the Eat Up pre sets there. 
You ever hear like the sound effects for one game and definitely know they're in another game? Sunsoft for the win. I mean, you always know when you have Sunsoft sound effects in another game. Especially some of the unlicensed games. Some people like Konami and Sunsoft try to have their own samples, but uh, some things like, uh, should we say, Color Dreams will use samples from other people's games. I mean, a little bit further. And we got Swamp Thing here for the win. Oh, jeez. What do I do? Can I get weapons or anything? I haven't played the game far enough to even know if I can get weapons. Do I have to do like head attack? There we go. Whoa! I don't think I want to hit that stuff. Oh, okay. Can I do uppercuts? I didn't know I could do uppercuts. You hold up and push the punch button. Hell yeah, it's like playing Mighty Final Fight with some additional moves. Or am I leveling up like in Double Dragon? I don't know. I need to play the Jane Silent Bob Mall game next. I think that's actually on my system right now, too. Whoa! Oh, jeez. But awesome, awesome game. Halloween 86 for the win. Working with the update with HD visuals and music. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. You guys are going to be more to come.